Oh, well, John, obviously uh, a couple of days still past the, the loss to the Giants, but when you look back on the 2021 season as a whole, uh, are there some positives to take out of it? Yeah, look, it's pretty raw still. Um, you know, when you get beaten by a point in an elimination final, it takes a bit longer than a few days to get over it. Um, so, um, you know, I'm sure I'm just like the supporters as far as disappointed that the season's not continuing. It felt like we still had a bit more to give. Um, congratulations to the Giants. So they were able to get the job done and we couldn't quite get it done. So um, I'm sure over the coming weeks we'll be able to sit back as a, as a collective and, and appreciate some of the things we're able to do. I, I mean, it was an extraordinary year. Um, probably three or four times we were, we were packed up with two or three hours notice as a football club and, and told to move and, and you look at some of the, uh, the challenges that we had this year and, and the ability for us as a footy club to overcome those challenges and, and keep ploughing forward um, makes you very proud to be a part of the footy club, whether the players um, who were just magnificent um, and, and gave everything right to the final siren um, and did a wonderful job, all our staff. Um, yeah, you just feel very proud of the, the whole footy club. To go from five wins last year to 15 wins this year, I mean, that's, there's a lot to be optimistic about for, for 2022, right? Out of, you know, when you look back on that. Yeah, it is. I mean, you, I'm also been around long enough to know that you've got a lot of work to do. And, um, and I don't say that to take the sting out of things. It's just a, it's the facts that, you know, to get back to 15 wins uh, between now and this time next year is, is a lot of work. And, um, and so, once again, it's still raw. Um, but, um, you know, there's no doubt that we were confident over the off-season, even though coming off five wins, that um, our experience last year in the hub was a pretty positive one. Uh, but also we were confident that if we got our best players back in the park, we had got a decent pre-season into them that would be competitive. Um, we had the extra bonus of, of some of those younger players coming on and playing some footy that we probably didn't expect. So um, from that perspective, we were really pleased with the, the progress of the last 12 months. But you know, once again, always with a major asterisk was that we didn't, didn't quite uh, get what we wanted to in the end. And, and that's always a disappointing factor. We had another year of a, a hub-style season, or for, for part of it at least. Uh, I guess it's testament to the club and, like you said, the players and the staff and, and families this time too, uh, how resilient we've been able to be to push through and, and get on with the job as, as much as we could. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it takes a, your, an entire footy club, whether that's your, your board, your executive, um, staff, players, and, and in this case, partners and families. Uh, we went on the road for over nine weeks last year without our families and, um, and we're on it for a significant amount this year without our families. So to be able to have them on for a period of time um, was, was fantastic. They went through uh, two weeks of hard hotel quarantine and, and we left them up in Brisbane to come down to, to Melbourne at a moment's notice. And so there's just some unbelievable background stories to, to every person that's been involved. and. Um, and you know, we feel, even though it's been a, a, a tough time, it's been challenging, um, we feel as though we've got a lot out of it and, and um, our players and our staff and our families have just had a really positive attitude to everything, everything that's come our way. Um, and it certainly helps when you put it in perspective with what the community's been, been through and, and um, well, all the challenges that we've had, we've still had our jobs and, um, and that's been a real positive. We got a, a small taste of crowds, I guess, at the start of the year when we were allowed to have them and they were taken away again with the COVID and everything, but how much have you missed seeing those crowds and the fans and members in the stands and how much are you looking forward to it next year? Yeah, it's something we had a taste of at the start of the year. Our, our, our fans, our members, to be able to play in front of them was was a wonderful experience. Um, you know, we've we've got we're really really fortunate as a footy club that we've got um, supporters all over the country, not just in Sydney, but um, and and that, I think that's been a, a positive to come out of it too. The crowds that we had back in Sydney, the 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 energy that we're, our players were able to feel from that, and then to get on the road, to go to a place like Geelong and, and play against the Eagles and have what felt like a home crowd um, in front of our Victorian supporters and members was a wonderful experience. And then we had a great turnout in Queensland um, and again in Tassie. Um, we just feel very fortunate that we were, I think we were lucky in a, in a footy club sense that we've got a broad uh, base of supporters all over the country and uh, we really really appreciate you guys uh, turning up to, to the games when you were able to, uh, and when you weren't able to, sort of watching us on mass on television. And um, 
you know, we can't wait to have the opportunity to, to play in front of our members and supporters next year in, in what we hope is a packed SCG or down in Melbourne at the MCG or wherever we play um, because it's just so important and the players really miss that uh, energy that you guys give.